Welcome back, everybody. Tonight, a major change to the Dr. Seuss book lineup. Six titles, in fact, will no longer be published because of what's being described as racist and insensitive images. News Nation's Ashley Katz joins us from the newsroom with some reaction to today's announcement. Ashley. Well, Marnie and Rob, this decision follows months of discussions and comes on Read Across America Day, which is the beloved author and illustrator's birthday. The Controversy over celebrated children's author Dr. Seuss as the business that preserves and protects his legacy announces it will cease publication and sales of six children's titles. In a statement Tuesday, Dr. Seuss Enterprises said, quote, these books portray people in ways that are hurtful and wrong. In And to Think That I Saw It on Mulberry Street, an Asian person is portrayed wearing a conical hat, holding chopsticks, and eating from a bowl. If I Ran the Zoo includes a drawing of two barefooted African men wearing what appear to be grass skirts with their hair tied above their heads. I think that the depictions, especially of the Asian characters and the black characters um, in some of these books, have been racist since the beginning. While these six books may be lesser known, children's literature scholar Rebecca Fitzsimmons calls them highly problematic. Seuss has a really deep catalog and a really extensive body of work. And so for them to say these books have been highlighted by experts as being exceptionally problematic, and so we're going to stop publishing them. It's a discussion that started in Jill Stepanovic's Virginia bookshop years ago. She says her store hasn't carried the Dr. Seuss titles for some time and isn't surprised by the move. Because we're small and we can curate a collection, we stopped carrying books that we thought weren't, we didn't want to put into their hands. There's so much great literature for kids right now that it just didn't make sense. Fitzsimmons agrees whether you're a parent, a teacher, or a librarian, the books we share with our children matter. Kids, especially at a very young age, the kids who are encountering Dr. Seuss for the first time, they have books handed to them. They very rarely are the ones who are selecting the books from for themselves. And so that puts a lot of responsibility on us, the grown-ups in their lives, to choose books that reflect the world that we want them to see. The move drew immediate reaction on social media, some calling it another example of cancel culture. But Stepanovic believes Dr. Seuss's collection as a whole should not be canceled. I don't believe that you should be um, completely wiping out the entire work of Seuss. Um, but I absolutely believe that there are those titles that don't benefit any child by having them in their hands. Now, some of these Dr. Seuss titles are still available through online retailers and used bookstores. The list price for the book and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, for example, right now, ranges from hundreds of dollars into the thousands of dollars on eBay. Rob.